How y'all doing? Welcome back to my channel, Manifest with Joey. I don't know if it caught the first couple seconds of that intro, but welcome back nonetheless. So I don't know how long this video is going to be, but we need to talk about something real quick, okay? We need to talk about the benefits of improving your self-concept and your relationship to yourself, okay? Start connecting with yourself on a day-to-day -day basis. Start connecting to this infinite source that exists within you. Oh yeah, you know what I'm saying? Start working on your self-concept and do it for you. A lot of times people will work on themselves and they'll be like, damn, okay, if I improve myself, then maybe my person will come back. If I improve myself, then maybe I'll get what I want. No, release that expectation. Release it and place the expectation. If anything, if any f expectation you should be placing is, okay, if I do this, then finally, I'm going to become my best self. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Seriously, though, don't have that expectation. The reason why is if you have that expectation, you may begin the process of working on yourself and improving your relationship with yourself. You may not see results right away and then assume or fall back into the old way of thinking to suggest that it's not working. And obviously, you don't want that. That's just an example based on my own experience and people that I've talked to, okay? Release expectations, work on yourself for you, okay? The reason why you want to start working on yourself is so that you have this opportunity to face and clear these fears that are have that have caused all the, the shit that has happened in your life, okay? The fear ties into you feeling anxiety, depressed, confusion, right? Overthinking. And then obviously to neg the negative feelings, excuse me, right? Such as anger, sorrow, etc. I'm not saying to run from yourself, run from your fears or anything. Don't run from your shadow, but understand that, that by you working on yourself, you're clearing all that out. Energy is never destroyed. It's only transferred. I say this to my clients all the time. That energy, that fear goes out, comes back in as confidence, comes back in as trust. You'd be like, what, what else can I do? What else can I overcome? Do you understand what I'm saying? There are plenty of ways to work on yourself. You can listen to sleep affirmation tapes. Record your own tape with your own affirmation specifically tailored to the self-concept that you'd like to embody. You could do that. Another thing that you could do is simply affirm throughout the day in such a way to employ that you have a healthy self-concept. Self-concept affirmations such as, I am completely and utterly worthy of any type of love I desire. I am the embodiment of confidence. I always get what I want no matter what. You could do that. Another thing you could do is inner child healing work. Another thing you could do is shadow work. Another thing you could do is grab yourself a pen, pencil, paper, whatever the case may be, and write down all of your fears. Write down all of your fears. And then next to each one of those fears, so let's say you write down a fear that says you really don't feel chosen for love. Then right next to it, I want you to start writing down something to employ the opposite and then affirm it in your mind a couple of times. And then boom, there you go. If it resonates, you got your own affirmation. There are so many things that you could do, but the ultimately it's going to come down to choice. You're either choosing. And in the last video I posted, the little short, I said that manifestation is a decision. It's a choice. That's very true. Manifestation is a decision on a conscious level. And it's one you got to stick to. Okay. Do you understand? You should always be working on clearing out your limitations, becoming limitless, becoming whole and complete. Do you understand? Because God forbid you don't work on these limitations. And then the desire comes back in. How long is that shit going to last if subconsciously you keep allowing these fears to spiral out? How long? That's the question. It's also a trick question because you don't really know how long. But the point is, is that it's probably not going to stick around for the rest of your life. And I'm not saying this to discourage everybody or anybody for that matter. It's just the truth. It's the truth because if you allow these fears to continue to play out, you manifest your desire in. These fears are still in there. So now they're going to lead and seep its way into your, self, into your conscious awareness, excuse me. Then you're going to probably start overthinking and feeling triggered and start reacting. They don't text you back right away. You start assuming the worst. You know why that's happening? Because of your fear. How many people do you know like that? I know plenty. I used to be like that. You may still be like that. So please take some time and work on your self-concept. Utilize the examples that I gave, the little teachings, little practices. Do whatever the f it takes, whatever it takes. You know, for me, a big part of the, I've been working out consistently for the last 70 days. Okay, I'm on day 71. I haven't got my workout in yet because I've been handling clients, okay? But that for me has improved my self-concept. So maybe you could start doing that. And if anybody is interested in that, when you start working out, 
a firm, I guarantee you, is going to boost your confidence anymore and it's going to make you keep going even more. Affirm in what it is that you desire to experience, either involving yourself or the desire at hand, such as the money, wealth. If you really desire it, when you're affirming in the moment, you got to think, you're already feeling good from working out. You're already in that confidence space, right? So then you're affirming in what it is you want, and now that's going to boost you. That's going to boost you even more. You're going to be like, yo, I'm going to go even harder. You know what I'm saying? So there are plenty of ways you could go about working on your self-concept, all right? Test it out, play around with it, figure out what works best for you. But above all else, like I said, like I said, assume that whatever you're doing is going to work for you easily, quickly, and effortlessly. Assume that whatever you're going to do is going to work for you. Assume that whatever you're doing is right for you, okay? All right, much love and peace. If you desire a one-on-one -on -one session, feel free to check out that bio link below. It's going to have my email. Check out my TikTok. That's going to be linked below. My Instagram is also going to be linked below. I will do my best. Do my best. Do whatever it takes to help you get on track and to help you get it is get what it is that you desire to experience. If you enjoyed this, I would definitely appreciate a subscribe and click that bell, okay? Much love.